G'day YouTube, one MJ here and welcome back to my channel. Well, a pretty stock standard kind of Sunday in the crypto space at the moment, and that's to be expected. You know, the weekends are a little bit slower generally. You know, there's a bit of a sell-off, which we've had this weekend, and then Sunday usually not too much happens. But tomorrow being Monday, we're generally going to find out kind of what the overall trend is. You know, whether we're going to be out to the upside or the downside, it's hard to know, uh, and we'll have a look at that soon. But what uh, I'm really looking at at the moment is the market's back up again. So the market cap has gone up. So that makes me think we're probably going to bounce to the upside. We definitely could bounce to the downside, and I was suspecting we might come down to that kind of $11,200 range, $11,300 range, but the market cap's gone back up, and so that's, you know, a Sunday. People are buying back into the market, so I think come Monday, uh, chances are that it'll probably go up. But again, I could be wrong. Uh, I, I'm no savant, and I can't tell you exactly what's going to happen. I can just give you a bit of a clue of what I think might be happening. And that's what I'm looking for. Again, as long as our market cap keeps going up, and it's going to fluctuate between up and down, you know, on certain days and all the rest of it. But generally, we're on the uptrend for the market, uh, overall market cap. So that's good, and that's what I'm looking for. But obviously, we can see here, uh, you know, Bitcoin's down 2.4% over the last seven days. So it hasn't been a great week for us. But, you know, minus 2.4% is not so bad. Uh, and again, it's kind of ranging at the moment. Ethereum, uh, it's taken a bit of a hit over the last seven days. So as we can see, it's down nearly 10%. But again, it had such a good pump. At some stage, it has to retrace a little bit. That's just the way it works. And when you look at it here, it looks like it's generally been pretty bad. Chain link, like down 20%. You know, who would have thought, but, well, you know, smart money would have known that Chainlink was in, uh, you know, new price territory. Of course, at some stage, it was going to pull back a little bit. But whether it's, you know, finished pulling back or not, you know, who knows? We'll have to wait and see. You know, you could have a look at the charts and try and find out. But, you know, I wouldn't worry about it too much. It's had such a good pump. It wouldn't surprise me if it comes back a little bit more. But what I want to do is let's have a look. There has been movers in the last 24 hours. Uh, and particularly the last seven days, Cosmos. Uh, congratulations to the Cosmos uh, owners. I'm one of them. I've got some Cosmos. So I've been really happy with how that's doing over the last seven days. I don't have any Ocean Protocol, uh, but they've been doing really, really well. Aragon, Nano, Ban Protocol. But I mean, Ban Protocol's kind of sold off a little bit now. So, uh, you know, it's good that in the last 24 hours they've made some of that back. And you can see that move over there. But it might be a bit of a dead cat bounce. Uh, and they could sell off some more, who knows. But it just goes to show that even in a sort of uh, a pullback, there is coins that are going to do well. So some of these have done unbelievably well. Let's have a look what's happening on the last hour. There we go, block stacks moving, Aragon's still going, Nano, Loopring, Icon. Now nothing massive, but this is, we're talking about in the last hour, and so Cosmos continues to go up. So there's definitely things that are moving, you earn finance, wow. Uh, I wish I had uh, some of that. But anyway, what do you do? You can't have more. And Aave, uh, I've got that and I'm pretty happy with that as well. So things are definitely still moving and they're moving in the right, right direction. For anyone who's new, don't panic. Yes, there's going to be a pullback. You know, don't be uh, a Dave Portnoy and, you know, pull out the minute it loses a little bit. Uh, cryptocurrency doesn't pump as hard as it does without having... Uh, some fairly fierce retracements and this isn't even a fierce retracement this is just a pretty stock standard one in the kind of bitcoin world cryptocurrency grand scheme of things so yeah not to worry let's go over here and have a look so this is my chart and i got rid of that ascending wedge uh that i had in there because it's uh been invalid uh, it broke out over here so again at the moment this is really where we've been trending for a while now so Let's see how many days. We're on the daily. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So we've been in this kind of 11,000, you know, $300 range to around about 11,000, sort of $800 range for quite some time. Yes, we've dropped down a little bit below, particularly here. And look, we've even been above. We wicked uh, above it up there. Uh, definitely we're way above it up there but this is the range that we're kind of sitting in so until we uh, sort of see something that makes us think something's going to change I'd expect us to just keep traveling sideways in this now again because there's been some uh, money come in over the last little bit and the market's up a little bit 
Now this is Sunday, obviously. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be Monday. Uh, you know, that's when a majority of the traders start to come back in, and particularly uh, the institutional buyers and things like that, you know, and the, uh, the stock marketers, you know, and the traditional brokers and that, they don't work on weekends. They work Monday to Friday, sort of nine to five. So expect Monday is gonna really dictate uh, what's gonna happen. And my gut feeling is we'll probably go up a little bit. I'm not sure if we're gonna break out of this range just yet. Obviously at some stage we'll have to, and we have been trading within this range for quite some time. So uh, definitely possible uh, that we could just break you know, way out to the upside or even to the downside. Again, I'm still kind of watching for that $11,200 range to $11,000 range. But, you know, if that can't hold, then I'm expecting us to come down here and bounce off the 10500 and particularly maybe find some support on one of the trend lines, whether it's the 50-day, uh, the 100, you know, God forbid, maybe even the 200. At some stage, we are going to come uh, back and most likely bounce off the 200-day moving average. That's what Bitcoin has traditionally done throughout every bull market. At some stage, it has a deep correction uh, and it'll bounce off the 200-day moving average. So whether that's, you know, going to happen now or later, who knows, I couldn't tell you, but what I am looking for is this. I'm waiting to see what would happen. You know, if I was into leveraging the market and things like that, at roughly sort of $11,880, I'd be looking to possibly go long. And at, you know, again, roughly, it's hard to know the exact dollar value, but $11,370, if I saw it coming to there, I'd probably look to be going short. Now, just so you all know, I don't leverage trades. I'm not into. I'm, I don't leverage trades. Sorry, I'm not into it. Uh, it. It's more like gambling. But if I was uh, to put a few dollars into it, they're my kind of price targets that I'd be looking at. And again, I'd probably go down to even less than the daily charts. I'd be more looking at the hourly charts, four hourly charts, and things like that to you know narrow these prices down because these are pretty broad. Again, these are day candles, so. You know, it's hard to read uh, the exact price targets and things like that. But that's what I'm looking for. When are we going to break out of this? Because this has been the trend for, you know, nearly three weeks now. We've been trading uh, basically in this kind of, you know, area. Broken out below, come back up and got back in there pretty quick. Broken out above, come back in, got there pretty quick. And we're definitely way up there. And that's where everyone got really excited. But that $12,500 level uh, is some serious resistance at, at the moment. And particularly if we uh, zoom out a little bit, look at the bigger sort of the macro picture. Again, this has been uh, resistance and support on a number of occasions uh, back in 2019. And it was resistance and support over here in 2017, 2018 as well. So, yeah, so that's the one I'm looking at here. Uh, resistance uh, uh, has been resistance. So I was looking at the 10,500. That's been resistance and support. Uh, this has mainly just been resistance for us. We have definitely broke through and we did bounce off it once or twice back here, but it's been more uh, resistance than anything. So that is the one that we're really going to have to put some work in to try uh, to get through the 12,500. But gee, when we do go through that 12,500, I expect us to move pretty quickly and we're going to be up around here. Again, around that kind of $14,000 level. And if we get through that $14,000 level pretty quick, there's not really much. Uh, we're almost in new price discovery. There is a tiny bit here at that kind of $17,000 level. But really, I'd expect us to kind of get up to here fairly quickly. Uh, and I think this will be a really hard one to get through as well. I don't think we'll break through it very quickly. I think we're going to have something uh, like this and like this happen over here. We'll be probably hit it quickly, fall down sort of fairly steeply. Uh, get down to around that $15,000 level, maybe even less, completely come back and test this $14,000 level. Uh, and yeah, I suspect that we'll be bouncing off this and definitely up here uh, for quite some time. I don't think we're going to break through it too quickly. You know, there's an election coming up in the States in November. Uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about how that will affect, you know, markets in general. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see. There's so many different factors that will play a part in exactly what will happen. But again, my gut feeling is if we can get through that $12,500 level, it won't take us much to get to the 14. And if we get through that, yeah, again, we'll get up to here pretty quick, but I think we will struggle to get through this for a while. And if we do, 
uh, it'll be interesting to see whether we can get above this kind of 19,600. Let's just round it up to roughly $20,000 mark. I think that will be a, a big barrier. I think that'll probably take longer to get through than any of these others, but I could be wrong. Anyway, that's it for me. There's not a lot going on at the moment, not a lot of news to report or anything that's you know too overly interesting at the moment. So just a quick check up. And again, it's the weekend. Uh, Bitcoin generally, you know, has a little bit of a rest on weekends. There are weekends it can change, but most of the time this is what happens. A bit of a sell-off, uh, quiet on the Sunday, and then Monday comes around and, you know, we know what the market's going to do by then, whether it's going to go down further or go up. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Good on you if you're still on that game train this weekend, and I'll see you next time.